So now in this video, we're going to look at the PNP bipolar junction transistor. And this is really a demo circuit. We can get a little bit of an idea of how much current is flowing by how bright that LED gets and by how bright that LED gets. So to start off with, we're going to look at uh, this part of the transistor. So transistors are three terminal devices. This is the 2N3906. For the NPN version, we had the 2N3904. And the pin layout is the same. Chemistries are opposite, though. But uh, looking at the flat side, left pin is the emitter, middle pin is the base, right pin is the collector. Always check the data sheet for the particular one you're using. So for the emitter, that's the pin on the left, we're going to turn it this way. And then base is in the middle, and collector is at the bottom, like that. So I'm going to put it in the board like that. We'll come to the transistor later and I look at the circuit on the board. So, in any case, we control the transistor with base current. That's how bipolar junction transistors work. So, we have the emitter here, and we can use any PNP bipolar junction transistor should work just fine for this circuit. And uh, so the emitter, this time, goes to the positive supply, whereas it went to the negative supply for the NPN. So, that's the main thing to remember, is that polarities are opposite. So, now this is basically a diode, a PN junction, right there, when it comes to the base. And then we have another uh, P area there, but uh, that conducts differently than a diode. So we'll get to that. So, we get current going, we have to put the LED in this direction, anode to the base, cathode to this resistor. This is going to be a current limiting resistor, because we can set the uh, trim pot all the way down to zero volts there. And then we would have five volts across that resistor to set the current right there. And we can turn it up, we'll have 5 volts on each side, and there'll be no voltage difference, no current flow. But we need at least about 1.5 for a red LED, and about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 for this diode to get those two to conduct. So we're going to have to go at least halfway anyways, before, actually this way, before any current flows. And then we go down, we will get more current flow. So what's the point of that, is that, for however much current we have flowing through here, the transistor will allow probably 100 or 200 times as much current to flow that way, from emitter to collector. That's the main thing. No base to emitter current, then there will be no emitter to collector current. That is cut off. If we have a decent amount of current from the uh, emitter to base, and then to ground through, through that, we'll have a ton of current that can flow from collector to emitter. And uh, the resistor and the LED will be limiting the current at that point. There's also an active region where we don't have enough current going from uh, emitter to base that direction, or base to emitter, however you want to say it. And uh, not enough going that way to get the transistor to fully conduct, the transistor will limit current. So it's probably going to be 100 or 200 times what you got from the base that is going from collector. But you can lower that enough where it still limits the current. The LED just won't be as bright. That's called the active region. So let's look at that on the board. And here we have the back of the transistor. Flat side is to the left now. So the emitter is up there. And so we're going to keep positive up higher, negative down lower. That just kind of works better except for the uh, trim pot is far as the LED is concerned. Right there you can see the long lead, the anode is now down because it's going to get its power from over there. Short lead, the cathode is up one. So I have the LED backwards from how I normally do. Cathode over there. There's also a flat edge over there, rounded edge there. In any case, that's going to the 1 kilo ohm resistor, going to the middle of the t uh, trim pot. So this is a 10 kilo ohm trim pot. It's also going to limit current because it's a resistive component unless we go all the way to the uh, negative supply right there. In any case, middle pin is the wiper. We're going to put it there, this other yellow jumper, just like the last video, is uh, just making it so there's jumpers all around it, so that it's a little more flat. The uh, yellow jumper is not connected to anything. So, let's get uh, to it. We have 5 volts at the power supply right now, and uh, we're limiting current to 20 milliamps. And so, I, uh, I'll leave the lamp on now and we'll see how well we can see okay there's a little bit of a glow there I'll turn it off there you can see the glow you can't see any current yet because it's very very low 
and uh, this isn't completely accurate but it's usually within about one milliamp there we go when I get to the negative supply you can see it goes up so we're somewhere around two milliamps right there that's the uh, maximum current for that so in any case that's the current that we set the other than the diode drop of the emitter to base the transistor doesn't really uh, control that current at all we just uh, set it so I'm gonna grab another LED so it's the cathode's going to the short lead is going to that gray jumper anode's going up one row and we're going to use a 220 ohm resistor so that we can get more current than uh, what we were putting into the base right there so now we will uh, zoom back and I'll turn the uh, trim pot and when we get somewhere near about halfway there you can see now that one's definitely glowing right there but the other one isn't and uh, as long as I don't get my shadow in the way probably won't look too bad but yeah you can see how bright that one's getting and uh, and this one I don't even think is glowing yet there is a little bit of current going through but it's not glowing there we go now it's getting some glow uh, some real glow and now it's getting brighter so once this LED stops getting brighter it's a little hard to tell when but uh, that's when the transistor is saturated we add more base current doesn't matter the LED and the resistor have the full voltage across them and uh, so it's probably at this point now even though this one's changing its brightness that one isn't so that's the saturated reason uh, region and then once it starts uh, fading there then it's in the active region right there and then cutoff is uh, all the way down I think it just kind of looks like there's a little glow because there's a reflection right there but that's cut off right now it's completely off and I wasn't watching what currents we were getting there but uh, obviously it was a lot more than two uh, milliamps and then when it stopped showing a current change other than maybe this set it uh, one more milliamp higher or whatever than what it was showing before when that stopped showing a current change that was when we were saturated that's the best way to know once you hit uh, saturation and uh, in any case that's really about it for the PNP bipolar junction transistor you can make all kinds of great circuits with it you got to understand what it's doing to understand the uh, circuits and so uh, once you have this down though that makes understanding the circuits you make with them a whole lot easier to understand so hopefully you understand it good enough now where it helps you and uh, you enjoy the video make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that uh, donate to patreon if you can i put a link down in the description that would help out a ton i'll see you in the next video